Hello viewers, I'm back again Mr. Nyati, your presenter. This time around looking at the last question in section B, which is question B9. Share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Of course, share this video, like this video, and leave a comment in the comment section. We proceed. Question 9 reads, question 9 reads, and it tells us to say, the following table shows some fractions of hydrocarbon obtained from fractional distillation of crude oil. Okay, so we have uh, A, B, C, D, and the boiling range, the boiling points range is uh, 20 to 60 for A, 60 to 110 for B, 110 to 200 for C, and 200 to 360 degrees Celsius for D. Then which fraction contains the longest chain? Now, what you need to understand is that uh, the higher the temperature, the longer the chain of carbon atoms, okay? Uh, that is the basic idea that you need to know. So whenever you see a higher range of, uh, of, of, of boiling point, you need to realize that uh, that basically, which is found within that range, it has the longest or the longer carbon chain, okay? So now, the answer there would be D, fraction D. Why? Because it has the highest, okay, boiling point range. That is the reason why it has the higher, uh, I mean, it has the longest chain. So the answer there would be fraction D. Why? Because its boiling range is very high. That is the reason. So the answer to that question would be this. We move on to question B2. B2 says decay. Decay uh, can be cracked to produce hexane and one other hydrocarbon T deduce the chemical formula of T. So we are told that decan, uh, decan, which is uh, C10H22, can be cracked to produce hexane, which is C6H14, plus another hydrocarbon. Now, whenever cracking takes place, it's either you are going to produce a, 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 a hydrocarbon and hydrogen gas or two hydrocarbons. Now, these two hydrocarbons, remember cracking happens in alkane. So you're going to produce, if there are two hydrocarbons, then it is an alkane and an alkene. Okay? That's what you need to understand. So in this case, we have already this, which is an alkane. <clears throat> because an alkane has the general formula of CnH2n plus 2. So what it means here is that C, we have 6, and then on H, if we say 2n, we have 12 plus 2, that is 14. So this is already an alkane. Plus the other one should be an alkene. So we are going to check here. We have already produced the one with six hydrocarbon, I mean uh, carbon atoms. How many carbon atoms are remaining from 10? We have four carbon atoms eh, remaining. And uh, how many hydrogen atoms are remaining there? I think we have eight. So this is the one they are referring to as eh, hydrocarbon T. So this is the formula that we would deduce. So the answer to this question is not this. However, this one is helping us to arrive at this answer. So the answer, basically, what you would put here in an exam, here you would put C4H8. This is the answer. Okay? We move forward. Uh, draw the displayed structure of uh, T, which we have uh, uh, deduced. And uh, this would be our answer. The display structure would be C. There's a double bond. You remember this is an alkene. Then we have second carbon atom, third and the fourth. Then we put the hydrogen uh, atoms here. We will have H, 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 
H H H H I don't I don't mean H H I'm just saying H yeah <laughs> that was just a joke and so this would be like this remember be very careful here because you'll be tempted to put here and this would mean that carbon would have would have had one two three four five bonds which is not correct so make sure that each carbon atom it has five bonds here we have one two three four for this carbon and this one is the answer or any other isomer of this one okay now this one is the butene okay but if we have to go to isomers we would call this one but one in why would we call it like this because the carbon the double bond is between the first and the second carbon atom so we would put it uh, i would name it as beauty one in but if we the the, 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 the double bond is here we would call it beauty two uh, in so any isomer of butene would be correct if you put it here as a display structure so we move on to the next question the next question says would you expect a hydrocarbon t butene butene would you expect it to undergo polymerization oh yes why because there is a double bond in it so because of this double bond it would undergo polymerization remember in the previous video especially uh, not the previous video but the videos that i've done before especially section a i think it's uh, the one which has question 19 to 20 go through that video you realize that there is an explanation on how polymerization occurs so yes it would undergo polymerization because there is a double uh, a, a double covalent bond here so that the answer here would be that yes it would undergo polymerization and why would that be because uh, because it is unsaturated meaning that it has a double bond if you don't want to use unsaturated you can put because it has a double covalent bond that would be the answer so uh, viewers i hope this has been helpful our next campaign now would be to go to section C and finish this paper so that we go to also 2023 GCE and internal past papers. And if you are a GCE candidate, please make use of these videos. If you just go through them, you realize that when you face any other paper or any other past paper, you will have an idea on how to solve questions and also... When you go in an exam, you'll be starting your examinations very soon. You would be able to answer any question. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.